When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. And he took me with him. Hey everybody, this is an update to the Above the Belts video I did several years back. Recently, I did a rebuttal video about it and I came across some new information and put together a new model that I think drives my original point home even further. To recap the subject, there's this footage from the Apollo Command Module that shows the Earth. Neil Armstrong said they were about 130,000 miles from the Earth at the time and many moon landing deniers say no, this was taken from low Earth orbit. The makers of A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon say that a crescent insert was placed over the round window to fake the shadow on the Earth, to cover the fact that it was in low Earth orbit. And they were in low Earth orbit because they couldn't survive the trip through the Van Allen belts. That's the general claim. So I built this 3D model, and the specifics of how it was built are in my other video, linked in the description. But suffice to say, it was built to scale, and uses a camera with the same focal length as the camera used in the command module footage. On top of that, in my research I found out that I, and everyone else, have been incorrect about the distance claimed by Armstrong. Looking at the transmission transcripts, I found that Armstrong was actually talking about nautical miles. 130,000 nautical miles is about 150,000 miles away. So that's where I put the window view in my layout. So let's look at what we have. As you can see, this looks a whole lot like the view we see in the Apollo footage. As the camera moves around, notice how anything attached to the window would easily be seen. I have the Earth spinning at its normal rate of one degree every four minutes, and it's not noticeable from here. Let's look at it from low Earth orbit. Whoa, why is the Earth moving so fast? That cannot be the normal rate of the Earth spinning. And it's not. You see, this is low Earth orbit. At a thousand kilometers up, this craft is flying around the Earth once every hour and 45 minutes. That's nearly three and a half degrees of Earth spinning by per minute. Don't you think this kind of movement would have been noticeable in the Apollo footage? And this is with the camera being completely still. What happens if the cameraman moves a bit? No, this is nothing like what was seen in the Apollo footage. Every minor movement causes a shift in the view of the Earth. That would have been noticed. If someone wants to say that they were in high enough orbit as to fit the whole Earth in the window, like, say, this here, well, that puts them at some 35,000 kilometers above the Earth, just sitting in the outer Van Allen belts, which, of course, they don't think is possible. So, in conclusion, this much more accurate 3D simulation confirms that the footage seen from the command module of Apollo 11 matches what we would expect to see at the distance the astronauts claimed. And with that, we're done. That's my job! That's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.